A 10-year-old girl threatened by another student who had what some would consider a weapon. Good evening, everyone. I'm Crystal Gutierrez. Albuquerque Public Schools confirmed the boy was with a box cutter and was sent home. But the parents of the child who claims she was threatened say they've had problems with this student before. They claim school officials told them they could withdraw their daughter. Now they're outraged. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is here with more. Crystal, it appears to be a complicated situation. The victim's parents say they're worried the school isn't doing enough to help both kids. My daughter told me that about three to four weeks ago, four students came up to her and told her that, that he said, this little boy, said that he was going to kill her. It's been a rough year for this family who says their fourth grade daughter who attends Governor Bent Elementary School in Northeast Albuquerque has been bullied, tormented and even threatened by the same student for months. The mom who does not want to go on camera says little has been done about it even after claims that the boy threatened her daughter with a box cutter similar to this one on Friday. The little boy stated to my daughter, you better watch it. I have a knife and I'm going to cut you. She saw it closed. I was told that the box cutter was one that the principal had never seen, but it actually opens up like a knife, not like the one with the safety. The girl's mom says she got a call from the school principal and immediately picked up her 10 year old daughter. APS officials confirmed the boy did have a box cutter and that he was sent home. The girl's mom says she heard the boy is suspended for three days. She says that's not enough and wants the student kicked out of that school. She claims school officials have given her another suggestion. They told us if your daughter is uncomfortable being at the school, you can choose another school. And I just don't feel like we should be the one, you know, pu being punished. After all, she says her daughter has been punished enough, claiming the bullying has included the boy licking items from her daughter's desk and rubbing them on her face. But here's where the case might get tricky. I know he is in special ed. APS would not confirm that, citing student privacy. The girl's mom thinks school officials are not attending to his needs and that it's putting her daughter in harm's way. Still, she wants him expelled. And I just think there should be zero tolerance for this in the school. The girl's mom in this case says she's worried this will escalate to a similar recent case we reported about that involved Joshua Caldwell, a former Rio Grande High School student with disabilities. He was arrested for putting a female student in a violent chokehold during PE, and according to police records, there were several red flags. The girl's mom hopes school officials in this case will take action. The mom tells us a police report was filed by APS. She says she plans on meeting with school officials on Monday. Back to you. All right, thanks, Gabrielle. Now, APS officials say they cannot speak specifically about this case. The mom we spoke with says school officials have told her daughter to be a role model for the boy and lead by example. In this case, she says it shouldn't be her daughter's responsibility.